I am really excited to show you these new digital interactive math notebooks. So my current curriculum comes in PDF format and while there are ways that you can adapt it to work with your curriculum virtually, um, it's not the best to use. Um, no PDF is going to be as effective as something that's interactive. So I spent some time thinking about the way I could bring you the curriculum content in a way that works best for digital students. So these notebooks um, are what I came up with. So let's take a look. This is the ratios, rates, and percents digital interactive notebook for sixth grade. So you'll have your contents and then each, it is broken down into lessons just like my regular curriculum. The content is the same. Um, a few things have been omitted, um, a couple of things have been added, but for the most part it's the same. Each page looks like this. So they're broken down into different segments. In this case it's review, define, prior knowledge, and students have either places where they can type in their answers or there's drag and drops, like in this case. Um, and then for the define areas, so your students don't have to go hunting for um, answers, you can hit play. A ratio is a comparison of two numbers or quantities. And I will be there to give your students the definition. Um, these come with and without the audio buttons. Um, you could also use the one with audio and then just go through and delete the ones you don't want, but that's there as an option too. So the good thing about these is um, I was able to use a lot more color, make it a little more visually appealing for students than just traditional um, print resources, but also the ability to use drag and drop. So students here, they have to do ratios, nine blue to 12 purple, and they have to write it in simplest form. They can actually drag the blocks here and actually manipulate the pieces around the page and show these, um, show their work in a different way. Um, same thing down here. Here's another ratio. They can have blocks to uh, that they can move around to make a tape diagram. Um, some pages are just strictly answering. There's extra space here so they can extend their boxes to show their work. Um, again, here's another define with drag and drop. There are some tables that students can type in. They have, um, at the end of each little lesson, there's a check-in. Uh, fill in the bubble with your feelings on this topic or anything at all. Just a place where students can check in with you. There are, um, in this unit specifically, let me scroll through. Um, there are two quizzes. Um, the assessments for the units are already done in Google Forms. They're available separately. Um, so I just put the quizzes in here on the slides because slides are not the most effective way to give an actual assessment like a unit test. So coming through here, there are also some activities. So in this case here, there is a puzzle. Uh, students put the puzzle pieces together. They may need to rotate some of the pieces to be able to put the puzzle together properly. Um, it's just an example. But um, the pieces can be moved around the page very easily for students to work with and go ahead and do this puzzle. They have another activity in here as well and each unit will have activities. Um, this one is a puzzle. So keep in mind too, when students, if we zoom out, they can pull things off to the side when they're working to try to make their matches and they could even send this back to you with their matches all over the place and you'll still see it. So they're, even though this is made on pages, students aren't restricted to use just the page area. They can use the sides as well. So there's a puzzle there. Um, here is a maze where they're going to just drag the circles, these yellow circles, to show how they move through the maze and show the proper um, answers. And let me see what else. So yeah, just tables. Here's another puzzle where students are going to cut um, the pieces from here and then they'll build puzzles here and they can actually just send this one. Um, and this isn't correct. I'm just doing this as an example. They can actually just send this one page back to you, build the whole puzzle um, and then send it back to you. So I tried to make this more engaging. I tried to make it a little bit more, um, helpful for you um, because with the notes, uh, at least the ones that have the audio, students can work through them by themselves. Um, I do plan in the future to add actual um, little videos 
um, to show students how to go through something. So if there's a guided practice, so maybe here, right here, this try it, I might actually show them on the side. A little video can pop up where they can click and see something get solved. Um, I'm not going to do the entire unit that way because it would take a very long time, but just giving quick examples, it will really help you not have to make videos for every little thing. So um, I hope you're excited about this. I certainly am, and I cannot wait to get more of these um, done and finally be able to get them out for you.